Dakota first. Welcome back. The loss of a loved one will never come easy. But as a child, losing a parent or even both can be traumatic and cause issues later on down the road. But Malik Wilson shows us how one Williston woman has taken that and turned it into something positive. Ty Limmerin, a freelance writer in Williston, used her writing to influence others. But the deaths of some of her closest friends, spouses, and even her daughter took her attention away. I have a very good friend who had lost her spouse. Um, he is in the military in Iraq, and so she was left to raise three kids and have to put them through school. Um, I had another person that I knew very well, and his wife passed away from breast cancer, and he had to raise his three boys and has to put them through college. And then I have a granddaughter who is now four, and she lost her mother at the age of two. Seeing the struggles firsthand that these families went through, Limerin noticed they were not only struggling emotionally, but financially as well. And as a way to help, she created the Zoe's Heart Scholarship Fund, named after her granddaughter. The scholarship is out there for students who have, senior students, who have lost either one or both of their parents for any reason. It could be an accident, uh, a disease. Currently, one chosen senior in the cities of Williston, Tioga, and Newtown could receive up to $2,000. And as the word spreads, Limerin expects the funds to increase and having greater impact. I'm hoping that uh, we can grow it. There is, I've received just a fantastic response from the community, um, not just here, but in other areas, in Minot, in Michigan, and Minnesota, just areas, you know, and so I'm hoping that we can grow the scholarship and offer it to several other locations, regions. And as far as those who are chosen? The recipients of the scholarship will be notified by May 30th, and then the first awards will go out in June. Reporting for KX News in Williston, Malik Wilson. Well, for anyone wanting to donate, visit any Gate City Bank location and just mention the Zoe Hart Scholarship. Well, stay with us still to come on KX News, though. You can share.